Okay, hey guys, it's me, Legologic back. Finally, I know it's been way too long, but here I am to show you my Republic shuttle crash on Nal Kapok. Let's go. Now, without further ado, I present to you my Republic shuttle crash on Nal Kapok. Let's do this. So, this build is, uh, I believe, one of my largest ones to date. It is a uh, Two 48 by 48 base plates, uh, along with some extra stuff on the side, so it comes to a total of uh, 64 by 96 studs. Um, and I think it's massive. It doesn't have the height that most of my builds do, or um, all the different levels to it, but it has has enough, I think. And it, it's got a massive amount of small little details throughout it. Uh, so I'm super excited to take you guys through and show you each of the key points in this build. One of the main parts of this build is uh, the new class shuttle that's crashed, the uh, Republic Attack Shuttle. And um, here, uh, this one is my own personal design. I have the LDD uh, instructions, and if any of you are interested in purchasing those for me, I'll have my email down in the bio and we can work something out. Um, besides that, uh, I've modified it a little bit, not much, uh, just to give it some of the crash features. Um, but it's totally rearranged the terrain around it. Um, and I'll uh, show you guys that in detail right now. Here you can see the uh, two separatist attack groups moving in towards uh, the survivors. Um, and then along with uh, some uh, the burnt up foliage uh, caused by the crash, uh, some debris, uh, along with multiple uh, different layers of the uh, dirt and the ground. We've got half of this wing here buried. Um, that was a bit of work trying to get in, and I'm pretty sure there's at least 10 little stud-like pieces stuck in that hole. Here you can see a bit of a bottleneck created um, between the terrain here and the crash shuttle. Um, and uh, it's been a bit of a slaughterhouse for the droids. The three troopers here, oh, well, was three, now just two, um, have been doing a pretty good job at defending the position. We've got one that's broken through, and I'm uh, assuming they'll continue to break through. Here we have some ruins uh, left from the species that appears to be native to the planet, and we have uh, two troopers that have uh, taken cover in them. Um, it's also apparently acting as a rally point uh, with uh, other soldiers uh, rushing back there to get to cover as fast as possible. One of the favorite parts of the build for me, um, this explosion uh, from where the uh, AAT, um, I do believe that's what it's called, uh, has hit the side of the Republic attack shuttle, uh, sending one of the clone troopers flying. Um, yeah, this is just a nice amount of angles I got into this, uh, and it's my first attempt at a semi-realistic looking explosion, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, and in this little shot, uh, this is where I'd say most of the chaos is just uh, broken out. Uh, we've got a down trooper here uh, with one of the um, officers tending to him. Uh, we've got one of the main, uh, in my mind, they're senators uh, or like uh, political figures um, refusing to quit uh, while um, her uh, cohorts are being shot down. But uh, Commander Fox is uh, dragging her out of there to save her. And, uh, from here, you can see the uh, custom AAT build I've got and uh, some of the forest uh, spread about. Um, the forest was actually the most expensive part, probably, of this build, because, um, I don't have a whole lot of those, I believe, pieces, uh, and I had to order off a bunch of those off of Bricklink. This whole, uh, hill area was kind of added as an afterthought, um, I needed a bit more, uh, levels to the build. Um, as you can see here, uh, going with the theme of the ruins over on the, uh, other half, uh, there's, um, a cave inside. So under the hill here, uh, is a bit of a nod to, uh, another one of my favorite movies, um, in this case, Indiana Jones. Uh, we've got his, uh, reddish-brown fedora in here, and then some, like, uh, wall paintings. And along the same theme of, uh, what I said earlier, um, here the swamp area was added because I was out of, uh, the light green color, and I need to do something with the space, so... Originally it was uh, some water, but that just logistically didn't make sense here, uh, parts-wise, so I went with the swamp. A huge thanks to all you guys out there for watching this. Um, it's my pleasure bringing to you uh, semi-quality content um, and on an irregular schedule. But uh, I'll have a few more posts coming up after this one. I've got uh, smaller builds uh, to share, and I also got an awesome light box that I'll shoot those videos in. Uh, so I can't wait to share those along with this one and whatever comes next on LEGO Logic. Thanks for watching and have a great day.